Big data has penetrated into various fields of people's production and life, such as industry, agriculture, commerce, medical care, transportation, social networking, and it plays an increasingly important role in people's various decision making. Through data analysis, users can discover various factors that affect decision making and their interrelationships. So as to ensure the scientificity and the rationality of their decision-making process. Nowadays, the ever-increasing volume and a variety of available data in the cyber-physical world make it harder to quickly find valuable information from big data according to user preferences. Considering this challenging task, intelligent and automated collaborative filtering recommendation technique. Has been developed to aid users in service selection decision, because collaborative filtering is domain independent and easy to understand. Typically, by analyzing a user's historical system selection and rating records, for example, quality of service data, the recommender system will capture the user's personalized performances and then return the user a list of recommended items. That best match his or her preferences in a succinct and economic manner. While in the big data environment, the QoS data used to perform QoS predictions and recommendations are often not centralized but heavily fragmented. Let us consider the example in this figure. We assume users generated QoS data are stored by three platforms: Google, Amazon, and IBM. Alex is a target user who requests a list of new recommended services. In this situation, the recommender system needs to consider an integrated all QoS data spread across three platforms simultaneously, so as to conduct a comprehensive user performances or interest analysis, and finally return Alex a group of new and preferred services never executed by Alex before. Given the above cross-platform QoS data integration process, there are often two challenging issues. First, each of the three platforms—Google, Amazon, and IBM—lacks enough incentive to release its QoS data to the recommender system due to possible privacy breaches. In other words, a secure QoS data sharing mechanism is absent. Second. Due to the common trade-off between data availability and privacy in data-driven applications, protecting private user information in QoS data will probably decrease the availability of QoS data, and finally produce inaccurate recommended result. Therefore, how to balance the trade-off between data privacy and accuracy in the cross-platform recommendation scenarios? Is becoming a practical and significant challenge that needs intensive study. The locality-sensitive hashing technique has recently been introduced into service recommendation to achieve the above-mentioned privacy preservation goal. We talk about basic concept of LSH. Two neighboring points in the original data space are still neighbors after hashing with high probability. And two non-neighboring coins in the original data space are still not neighbors after hashing with relatively high probabilities. When LSH technique is applied in data prediction field, user data actually play the role as original data, which is sent to LSH function and get very user index. In this process, user data is sensitive, but the user index is not sensitive. In this way. We protect the user's privacy through locality-sensitive technique, and in further calculation, we could use user index instead of user original data. However, as a kind of probabilistic neighbor search strategy, LSH cannot always ensure a good accuracy when performing privacy or bill recommendations, which decrease the level of user sanctification considerably. In this video. We represent our investigation on how to improve the existing LSH technique to enhance its capabilities and make accurate recommendation while securing 
their sensitive user data involved in their multi-source recommendation decision making. In particular, we propose a secure cross platform recommendation solution, according to the enhanced LSH. The basic ideas of our approach is as follows: first, for each platform hosting QoS data, we generate user indices with little privacy, based on enhanced LSH. Second, according to the derived less sensitive user indices, we look for the target users' neighboring users. Third, the missing QoS values of the candidate services are predicted for target user, and the final recommendation decision is made accordingly. Finally, extensive experiments are designed and tested on the repetitive WS3 data site. The best report proved the benefits of work compared to other competitive approaches. The aspect of recommendation accuracy. Efficiency and privacy protection performances. For more details information, please read our paper published in IL Triple E: Transactions of Network Science and Engineering. If you want to learn further on cross-platform service recommendation.